What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you guys my algae scrubber. Um, I just set it up yesterday. And hopefully I'm planning to uh, get rid of some of this nuisance algae I have in the tank. Here I'll just uh, bring this in and show you guys some of the algae that I'm, I'm dealing with. And of course some of it is, actually a lot of it is hair algae. Which, and then you know, some is cyano hair algae and it's not, not the greatest stuff. But I do have some some regular green like algae issues, so hopefully it gets the better of both. Um, right there in the back, you can see a really good shot of some of that hair algae. And also, I have an Aqua Clear 110, which is sort of acting like a an algae scrubber itself. You can see back there it has the algae built up on there, and I was actually considering turning that thing into an algae scrubber. From some of the stuff that I've seen but I figured why not try the DIY one first and see how the upflow algae turf scrubber does so now let's go take a look at it and this thing was actually really uh, really easy to build it's kind of rigged right now because this is this is what I'm using for my lighting so you can see it's pretty damn bright but it's just a little small fixture that I clipped onto the uh, the box that I cut out for my turf scrubber. And with this thing on here, there really isn't a whole lot of bleed out, um, to be honest with you guys. There's a little bit, but not a whole lot of bleed out. So, let's go check this out here. All right, here's the algae scrubber. Pretty neat. I'm considering upgrading the air pump just to get a little more flow through there. So I've seen guys with uh, a lot more flow going through there, but maybe this might be okay. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, we'll just have to see, and you know, if it needs a bigger air pump, no problem. So put this back on here. Now it's kind of how it sits. Let me see if I can click off the refugium lights here so I can show you guys that there really isn't a whole lot of bleed out on the second okay here's the lighting on there and I mean this is it's dark over here there's a little little bit of lighting in there and it's very dim over here you know, it's just the same thing here. Here's an upshot from it. What you kind of see, this is when I pull it away. When I put it up on there, that's that's my bleed out. So it's pretty it's pretty minimal. So hopefully we'll get some good growth on there. I just wish I had a better way of having it set up on here because it's kind of rigged. So I just got it to where I'm shutting my door see and the door kind of leans up against it I'm definitely gonna figure out a better uh, better method but as for now that's gonna work for me and so this is day one um, of the, the algae scrubber I'm gonna probably make a video of the algae scrubber getting assembled so I'll probably tear it tear it down when it's ready to clean it and just kind of put a video on there of uh, how I kind of went about doing it so We'll see the results and hopefully hopefully they'll be good. And if not, I'll probably be switching to the waterfall type just to see if there's any, any better results there. All right, thanks guys for watching and uh, hopefully next time you see the tank we won't have any of this cyano or any kind of a hair algae growing at all. All right, thanks guys.